South Korea, a country full of mystery. It has a high population density, but the people here are friendly, and they're mad about sport too, especially in the capital. Seoul has a population of 10 million, and it was the setting for a memorable trip. By an all fear goes Asia. For the first time in the club's history, Leverkusen visited the Korean Peninsula to help promote the Bundesliga, and their stay was full of highlights. Flight LH712 from Frankfurt to Seoul. The start of Vinyl Fear Leverkusen's South Korean mission on the 28th of July. Still in Germany, South Korean superstar Hong Min Son gets a taste of what's to come. Following a slight weather delay, the South Korean adventure begins. After an almost 10 hour flight, the team land at midday local time in the country's capital. And the reception for Vinyl Fear and, of course, Hung Min Son is phenomenal. The Leverkusen stars are surrounded by a media circus and pure euphoria. Straight after landing, Vinyl Fear's number seven joins coach Lager Schmidt and captain Simon Rolfers at a press conference in Seoul's World Cup Stadium with 120 journalists to talk about the friendly against FC Seoul set for the following day. I'm just happy to be here with the team and the match will certainly be an interesting one for me and the club. Later in the afternoon, the team undergo a light training session at the hotel, a chance to stretch the legs after the long flight over. But Ben Leno, Stefan Kiesling, Ryu and of course Son, a first promotional event was on the agenda. Bayern Fear's main sponsor, LG Electronics, arranged for the Leverkusen stars to visit the LG Best Shop, where hundreds of excited South Korean fans created an amazing atmosphere. VIP guests of LG, journalists and of course fans get the chance to see the players up close and also get a look at LG's extensive range of products. Already plenty for the team to take in on day one in South Korea. Day two has a lot to offer as well. First up, a visit to the LG Twin Tower, where the LG heads welcomed a Leverkusen delegation, including managing director Mikhail Schade. More autographs are signed, this time for the employees of the electronics company. On to a shopping mall in Seoul City Center, where Bayer Korea welcomed a Leverkusen quartet, and once again, the hype surrounding Son is immense just as it is for another event held by Bayer Korea. This one for its employees, who also get a chance to witness their superstar up close. The highlight of the trip to South Korea was still to come though. A friendly match against FC Seoul in front of 47,000 fans who created an unbelievable atmosphere. Bayern Ulfir defied the intense heat and deservedly won the game 2-0 thanks to goals from Bellarabi and Kiesling. An intensive and all-round unforgettable experience for the Leverkusen players. The atmosphere was great. Even during the warm-up, they were screaming and really got behind us for the 90 minutes, but it was really difficult here. The heat, the 90 minutes of hard work and, of course, the flight behind us. I'm happy that we won 2-0, even if it looked like we were completely knackered in the second half. The next day, a recovery session in Seoul City Center albeit in tropical temperatures. Bayern Ulfir really worked themselves into the ground the day before, but they won many South Koreans' hearts, just as they did throughout the rest of the trip. An Adidas promotional event on top of a skyscraper was another chance to do just that. Simon Golfers, Stefan Kiesling, Ryu and Hung Min Son trained some South Korean primary school pupils, ensuring an unforgettable afternoon. 
To round off the day, the team head to a local restaurant. A typical Korean evening for the management and the coaching staff. And yet another show of the warmth and hospitality of the South Koreans. The final day in South Korea and one last training session near the World Cup Stadium where the Leverkusen team rounded off an intensive but memorable week. Final Fear's important mission for German football has been a successful undertaking in every respect. We had a clear aim as part of our new international strategy. We wanted to make Final Fear and also German football in the Bundesliga more popular and more attractive in this important Korean market. I think we have done that very successfully, not least thanks to Son. We've seen the enthusiasm of the fans, a full stadium, an amazing media presence, a huge amount of newspaper articles, lots of TV reports, basically everything that we had hoped for in terms of handing out our business card here. I also have to give the team a lot of praise. It hasn't been an easy trip. It was a tiring journey with a long flight, with jet lag and sleepless nights. But the players still did a fantastic job in both the sporting sense and at PR events. Und nachhaltig positiv erfüllt. Final Fear depart from Seoul with plenty of lasting memories. Everyone who flew out with the team to Asia no doubt spent the long return trip thinking about the extraordinary moments they had experienced on their South Korean journey. A few days after arriving back home, Leverkusen could assess their trip. Final Fear in South Korea was a big success. It was certainly a bit tiring, not just because of the time difference, but also because the temperatures were extremely high. But we had a great friendly match in front of a fantastic crowd. Of course, a trip like this is done to make our key sponsors happy. They were of course Bayer AG, who we had events with there, LG and our kit supplier Adidas. And of course, when you can accommodate three top sponsors in Asia at the same time, it's an ideal scenario. Leverkusen's visit to the Korean Peninsula. Five days full of passion, emotions and joy would help make Bayern Ulfir and German football that little bit more popular.